Hi everyone, good afternoon. It's Rose Hamilton from PTO Today. And Lonnie Herrick from PTO Today. And we are here today to talk about the welcome packet, which is yes. a great tool for this time of year when we're all going back to school. Um, so um, first off, even if your school is about to start, there's still time. You can get this done. We have every single document you might need for this. Yes. Rose is going to post all the URLs in this yes. thread as soon as we're done with this video. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, you know, you can get a few of your PTO buddies together. You can have a little assembly line to put them together. Um, we've got some folders to show you. You can get these for, you know, 20 cents or less. Yes. Um, you can find them real cheap in bulk. Um, also, you could have these ready to distribute at your open house or back to school night. And you can also just turn them into a PDF and put them on your website and blast it out in your email and let people download them. Right. So if you're going for the hard copy version, which is very traditional, and it's a great thing to give to parents at the start of school time, we want to say, like Lonnie mentioned, uh, you can get the uh, double double pocket or single pocket folders. I happen to just find a couple lying around the office to show you. And they are usually 20 cents or even less. Like sometimes you see them for 10 cents a piece. Mm -hmm. So a folder like this one, it's a double pocket. You can put stuff on this side and as well as this side. And right here where my hand is, you see there's a place for a business card, which we happen to have those. I'll show those soon. Uh, you, Lani will show those for you to you in a moment. This folder right here is just a single pocket, which you can see you just put all your papers right here. And again, it has a place to put the uh, business card. And in terms of what papers go in here, our recommendation is to keep it to 10 pieces of paper, excuse me, or less, 10 things. Because just keep in mind how you feel as a parent and how much stuff you're getting at the mm -hmm. start of school. You're getting stuff from the principal, from the teacher, and now from the PTO. You want to provide really the essential documents and not much more. So what are those? Yeah, and we want to try to balance, right, the anxiety of yes. you want more information because you're a little anxious about what's going to happen but you right. don't want to be overwhelmed and so yes. that's why we've picked out the best things that yes. you should consider including and so we want to start with the back to school welcome letter and so this is kind of a summary of um, you know what your group is all about the big picture things that you do you want to have an upbeat yeah. tone you want to be excited about the year to come and invite people to be part of it and you could consider including in that uh, a mission statement for your group. We do have an article on how to write a mission statement. And we also have a couple of great documents to show what your group's accomplishments are. So this is one that would just list the types of activities you do. And we also have a version where you can put in how your budget actually goes to those different activities. Right. Okay, so now you've told everybody who you are. And then your next document, I'm actually going to show you our planning calendar. This is the PTO Today planning calendar. We recommend that you do a one sheet calendar of upcoming events. And you can keep it to just the fall if that's more manageable for you, but definitely use our planning calendar. It will help you in, in uh, filling out your calendar with some fun events, some fun days to remember, and then you can add to that your big events, your back to school event, your early fall events and fundraisers. Now it's also really important <clears throat> that everybody knows how to contact you. Right. So you want to have every possible way that there is. You want your website, your social media accounts, your email addresses, if you have different email addresses, like maybe there's one for submitting things to the newsletter and another one for contacting the board, you want to make sure all of that's available. And so one way you can do that is with a business card format. Guess what? We have a template for that. Um, you can get it on our file exchange and then print it out on, you know, from Staples or wherever the card stock that you can tear apart. Right. Business cards. So it's heavier and sturdy. Yeah. And that's the kind of card that we showed you that we included in the little slot that comes with most of the uh, two pocket mm -hmm. um, folders. So the next thing you'd like to include is if you do membership where where folks pay a fee to belong to your group, you've probably already started a membership drive, but it's always worth including a membership form where folks can fill out all their basic data and send in their fee to you. So include this, tuck this into your welcome packet, and we have this form as well that you can use. You can download and use this one. And in addition to that, whether or not you are charging dues or having sort of a membership enrollment time period, 
you always do want to ask people explicitly what is it that they like to do what are their skills what um, resources might they have available to share and so you can do that with a volunteer interest survey and we're showing you a paper one here um, you can also get this from our file exchange and we'll post mm -hmm. the link on the on the thread but you know you can also take that as a starting point to make an electronic survey um, you want to make sure it's in a format that most of your parents are going to actually complete the survey. So do right. what works for your community. Right. And that one, by including the paper one, it really sparks the thought that to parents that they maybe do want to get involved. And to encourage that, we have um, the 10 Reasons to Get Involved flyer. And this is a color version. If you can do color printing, that's great. If not, you can also do this in black and white, no problem. But it lists out 10 reasons why parents should get involved. It's very helpful to get the thought of parent involvement front of mind for parents and it points out things that will appeal to parents such as they can meet other parents. Mm -hmm. They'll find out what's going on at the school um, instead of being at a loss for what's happening they'll be right in the thick of things. So these items on the sheet appeal to parents and what interests them so it's a great thing to include. <laughs> Now we recommend that you have some sort of low key event right at the start of the school year, something that's really low stress. It doesn't take a ton of volunteer time. You're not charging money for anything. Maybe you have some snacks out. And so if you do have a back to school event of that sort, include a flyer for that as well in your back to school right. packet. And that way parents know right up front. And of course you're gonna advertise that all the other ways too, yep. but you can include that flyer and that way it's really front of mind and they might go like, oh yeah, I heard about that. Okay, now I've got it right here and I'm gonna add it to my calendar right now. Right, right. And I just wanna do a shout out to, hello Heather. Heather Faye Harkins is here with us. Hi Heather. And also to Maria Torres. Thank you for joining us. There's just a couple more examples that we have. Yes. These are, um, ours, if you needed RSVPs for an event, then you know, these have, this is a volunteer form that you could put out for that. And then this one is just, are you coming? And do we, so we have enough, we have enough tissues and teacups tea for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, saying hello to the folks that are, uh, if you're just joining us, Lani and I have been talking about what to put in your welcome packet. And one other point before we're wrapping up with the documents that go in here. Um, I had shown some very basic folders, like just this one right here. And what we wanted to say is you, know, you don't have to do some sort of amazing arts and crafts project here. Mm -hmm. Keep it simple, use a simple folder. You can even use a Sharpie to write the name of your group on here or print it out on stickers and just slap them on. It doesn't have to be an amazing work of art. You're just trying to get yeah. information out to people. And especially if your group has a logo, just print that logo on a bunch of stickers and put one right on the front of the folder. Right, that will work. So the last document we wanted to share is called The First Day of School Poem. Here it is. This is a little bit of a tearjerker. We don't mean to be too <laughs> sentimental, but it's just a nice thing to include for parents. It'll touch their heart a little bit and they'll make a little bit of an emotional connection with your group. Yeah. And I just want to throw one other tip out there, and I'm going to give a shout out to my school, Thompson School PTO, because we do this all the time there, <laughs> which is when you do have paper forms of these things um, that you want to get right in front of parents, but maybe you do have a parent that parent community that's a little bit more mobile, connected, but that paper version really gets it right in front of them, make a QR code. And so then they can see your survey form, but you can have a QR code on it and they click that and go and fill it out right then online. So you can really just hit all the different types of people that there are. Right, right. So thank you so much for joining us today. Um, don't forget to uh, subscribe. We're going to put this video on YouTube. Right. Um, you can join our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash PTO today. We'll also have a link for that yes, here. Yes, which, and we should put a plug in for the YouTube channel just in mm -hmm. general. We've been really bulking that up with our videos. It's a great place for you to visit and subscribe to that channel as well. And we'll include that information. And as Lani said, what I'm going to do as soon as we um, end this video is I'm going to put links to all of the different forms that we've shown you today so you can get right to them and download them all for free. Everything is free. So thanks so much for joining us. Thanks, guys, and have a great day. Sorry, you just came on. <laughs>